Hey guys, so I picked up this Dell XPS 8910 a little while ago, and as you can see, this is the original case. It was pretty rough. So, I bought it with the intent of putting it in a new case. So I picked up this Cooler Master case on Amazon, and as you can see, I already have it mounted in there. It needed a few adapters in order to get it to work. I needed a fan splitter so that it would work with all the extra Cooler Master fans, and I did need to mount the original Dell fan. It has an extra pin, I guess for a management system for the fan. I had to have an extension for the ATX power to the motherboard. One thing this didn't use standard was an IO shield. It had the metal IO shield built into the back of the original case. So I took to designing my own. I drew it up in CAD. It came with this sticker that I was able to measure the dimensions of that sticker and convert that to a CAD drawing and eventually to 3D print it. So I want to show you guys how to install this really quick. I have the model uploaded to Thingiverse and linked in the description so you can print your own. Uh, ideally you'd use double-sided tape but I didn't have any at the time I filmed this so I just used some craft glues just so you could see how the sticker sat on there. Then it has some little tabs um, in the exact same place as they were on the back side of the factory case, and it allows you to stick this heat shield on the back. And you just kind of have to press it in around those tabs with your fingers. Once you do that, uh, it's printed one millimeter thick, so it's flexible enough that you can bend it and push it into position and it'll kind of click into place. You can see that if the sticker was laying flat that this would look very nice and professional and it keeps all of the dust from getting in your computer. It won't really shield it from magnetic interference but it will keep the dust out and it certainly does look a lot nicer than have a gaping hole in the back. Dell is one of the better companies when it comes to using standard parts and making things interchangeable. I could use a lot of this in another computer when this thing had reached the end of its life, but not every computer manufacturer is that, like that. Like my MacBook over here, almost none of this is interchangeable and absolutely none of it you are able to buy from Apple. So if this keyboard fails, I have to go source a used keyboard or a used computer for parts and take that. This is a huge problem for repair shops that would like to keep these devices out in circulation and use, but can't because they can't get good quality parts. So ultimately it's the consumers then that have to deal with this problem, and a lot of times they have to junk some of their still very usable products just because they can't get chips for the motherboard, they can't get screens, they can't get keyboards. And when these consumers are forced to buy new products instead of using their old ones, it's really hard on the environment. It creates a lot of unnecessary e-waste and it's really hard on the environment. So my hope with designing this I.O. plate that I showed you is that one day, instead of chucking this motherboard and just being able to salvage the CPU and GPU, someone will be able to take this motherboard one day and use it in a standard case long after it has served its purpose as an office computer. And my hope is that it can be used long in the future, maybe in some application where this is outdated, but such a powerful rig isn't needed, so someone is able to Give, take this motherboard and put it in a brand new case and sort of refurbish it and save a little bit of e-waste. So thank you for watching. Make sure to check out the link in the description to the both the CAD file and the STL file in case you would like to 3D print one yourself. And have a great day everyone.